Hello you lovely people, welcome back to my channel and as you might have gathered by the head in there yeah me and the kids we managed to get in one more boot fair guys now it's the very last one that this particular company are running guys so it's literally the last one we can go to there there might be some indoor ones uh, over the course of the winter and what have you but yeah as far as I'm concerned at the moment unless we're very very lucky he says it's the last one guys so yeah we got a nice little pickup guys it is the smallest out of the pickups that i've done for this boot fair season but there's some stellar things in there and no toys this time guys absolutely no toys whatsoever wow that is quite incredible because i've been picking up a hell of a lot of toys um yeah we've got just games and one system guys so yeah nice little last hurrah guys but before that i'd like to make an announcement for my best mate nate he's only gone and got himself a youtube channel hasn't he yeah wow it was about time i kept on at him you should have your own youtube channel and he's got his first video up guys now he is known as the mad schmopper and there's a good reason for that because he loves shoot em ups and probably most of his videos will be shoot em ups now if you don't know Nate already, which a hell of a lot of you will do, because he is around all the time, guys. Um, he is around commenting on people's videos all the time. Um, he's, he's that guy, he's got, he's got a funny accent, actually, because um, he speaks a weird kind of English, guys. Um, yeah, I think, I think they call themselves Americans. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'll tell you what, I've got some fantastic American subs brilliant brilliant yeah but yeah he's from the united states guys and uh yeah his first video wow like i said we've all been on him about get your own channel guys you know get your own channel um and he's done it guys he's gone and done it so linked below guys will be his channel he's only got 11 subs so get over there drop him a sub guys he, uh, yeah, he needs some encouragement. Get some more videos up there. Might only be one at the moment, but I'm sure there's going to be a hell of a lot more coming. He's an awesome guy, and he's literally the best friend you could ever want in the whole wide world. Oh, so, yeah, get over there, guys. Give him a sub, and I'm sure you won't bloody regret it if you love shoot -em ups particularly. I'm sure he's going to cover a hell of a lot more than that, guys. Right. And with that announcement, we move on to my pickups, guys. So, yeah, it was very, very cold this morning, actually. And we got there so early that we're using our phones again to uh, get any light, guys, as we were going over the first time. So we had to re-go over it again. And I'm so glad I did because I would have missed all this otherwise. would have missed it because quite a few stores weren't even set up. And, of course, it was so dark you couldn't really see much. So... I'm glad we went back over but where shall we start well we'll start with cartridge guys right so first of all i managed to pick up all of these um game boy color games guys they were one pound fifty each so first of all we have disney's atlantis there we are disney's atlantis that's a good one to have, guys. Didn't have it in the collection. I've got it on other systems and what have you, but I didn't have this one. So, yeah, brilliant to get that one. Then we have uh, Tweety's High Flying Adventure. The Looney Tunes one, isn't it, really, basically? Yeah. That was Wicked as well. There we go, there's the back. Wicked. Yeah, so yeah, love that, guys. Yeah, surprised I didn't have it already. Really surprised. Then I have Lego Alpha Team. There we go. Obviously, that is, yeah. Is that a Star Wars one? I presume it's a Star Wars one. I thought it was, but maybe not. 
Maybe not, guys. Lego's Alpha Team. Oh, well, whatever it is. It's Lego's Alpha Team. When I first picked it up, I thought he had a lightsaber in his hand. But I'm not too sure now. I'm not too sure, guys. But whatever it is, it is pretty damn cool. Because I didn't have it. There we are. And the last one, guys, is MTV's Skateboarding. Again, nice condition, these cartridges, guys. Lovely condition. So, yeah, that's another one. So, yeah, fantastic to add those Game Boy Color games to my collection. Right, and then moving on to the next lot, guys. This is Game Boy Advance. Now, I'm starting to pick these up, guys. I want the uh, Game Boy Advance video collection. You know, there's they, they brought out, basically, TV shows and what have you. Uh, I do believe there was a few films as well. Um, and this one is the Nicker, oh, Nick Tunes Collection Volume 1. So, yeah, I was interested in getting these for a while. So, yeah, brilliant to finally get one, guys. Very, very interesting indeed. I'm going to have to do a video on these because I've got a few of them now. So, yeah, it might be worth me doing a video. Brilliant. So, yeah, more unusual one to get there, guys. Then we're on to the games. We have Choo Choo Rocket. Now, you all know how much I love Choo Choo Rocket. And to finally have the Game Boy Advance cartridge is brilliant. I love it on the Dreamcast. I've had that for years and years and years and years. Donkey's years. But to get the uh, Game Boy Advance one is brilliant. And then we have... Tetris World. Is it Worlds or Tetris Worlds? If someone's written on it. What does it say? Not too sure. Oh, Thor Game or something. It's written in Byron on there. Which I won't be able to get off. I'm thinking sure I won't be able to get that off. But yeah, cool. I have it anyway. Then I have... Oh, yeah, Midnight Club, guys. There we are, Midnight Club. Brilliant to get that as well. There we are. So, yeah, that is the cartridge-based stuff. Now we're moving on to the BS1, guys. And we've got Thrasher Presents Skate and Destroy. There we are, Skate and Destroy. I'm surprised I didn't have this one already. Maybe I do. I've just not seen it sitting over there. But I don't think I have. And that is... A bit knackered the box. But it is complete. And as you can see, there's bits of it are falling off, guys. Look at that. Bits falling off. There we are. But yeah, it is complete, guys. It's even got its gubbins there. Oh yeah, there's a book. And... There's the disc, and the disc is in lovely condition, I did check them. So yeah, that is brilliant to add that one again to the collection. Shame it's all falling apart, eh? Oh, bloody PlayStation boxes. Well, PlayStation 1 boxes and flipping Dreamcast boxes are horrendous. Look at it, what a state. But yeah, brilliant to add it to the collection anyway. Then the only other... PlayStation 1 game is Speed Freaks, guys. Now, I've got this already, but it's in worse condition than this, guys. I know it's got a big label scarring on it, but it's not too bad a condition otherwise. There we are. So I thought I'd grab it. And how much did I pay for these ones? I do believe I paid £2 each for these. And there we are. That is complete again. Bit rough, but complete. And the disc is in lovely, lovely condition. So yeah, wicked again. To get that one. Nice one. Again, the box is falling apart a bit. But yeah, brilliant to add that to the collection. Wicked. Then we're moving on to uh, one PS3 title. And that is Uncharted 2. Among Thieves. I got this basically because it seems to be in better condition than the one I've got already. So I grabbed it because it was only 50p. So yeah, it was a no-brainer, 50p. Grab that. And it is completo. Good book. Wicked. 
that's excellent disc in lovely condition again so yeah very cool to get that one then we're on to i do believe uh ps2 here we go now this is just a filler one guys and i do believe i paid 20p for it and it is a rugby challenge 2006 yeah, actually, he wanted 30p for everything that was there, but then he said, oh, I'll just give me 20p, because we bought some other stuff as well. Uh, I think Oliver bought a few toys. There we are. Yeah, it's a filler one, guys, but I didn't have this particular one. And you know, it's like with me and PS2, there's few and far between that I haven't got already, so I might as well grab the fillers and the sports titles. So, yeah, that's good it is. Did I even show you? It is complete, yeah. There we go, wicked. So that's that. And then we have Gun Guys. Now, again, I've got this, but it was damaged in some way. The box was all, uh, sorry, the cover was all damaged. And it looked really ratty. Now, this is a nice looking one. And again, I paid 50p for it. So, a no-brainer again. To, to grab a better copy guys to do a, a label upgrade so yeah i've got that on a lot of different things guys including the psp version it's a bloody good game it really really is good activision game so yeah gone looks like everything's going to be back to front again because the sodding cameras don't oh but you can see it anyway oh. I don't know what it is with this new camera of mine. I can't seem to get that bloody setting right. I keep messing about with it. Anyway, we've got Virtua Tennis 2, guys. There we go. Again, a label upgrade. I did have it already. But it's a definite label upgrade because it's in lovely, lovely condition. I do believe I got the other one from CX and it was, uh, yeah, not very good. And I think the book was missing, guys. So, yeah, there's a book in this one. It is complete off. Wicked. I love virtual tennis, guys. Whatever way it comes, I love it. I'm always happy to add another one. Right, and then we have a Dead Rising 2, guys. Now, I've got a sealed copy of this, which I haven't actually opened. I know I'm one of those people who opens everything. But for some reason, I just haven't. It's sitting right there. It's looking right at me. Oh, and it's on the PS3 anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, Dead Rising 2 the xbox 360 and i do believe i paid again hmm yeah 50p for it and that is because i knew they told me already that the book was missing which it is so i didn't mind doing that you know the book's missing fair enough yeah dead rising turn it sounds like the kids are coming through the ceiling again so this video is really all going wrong isn't it brilliant And from the same people again, guys, so 50p again, it was at Resident Evil. Uh, which one is it again? Five, of course, Resident Evil 5. So, yeah, again, guys, just in better condition than the one I had already. There we go, Resident Evil 5. And 50p, you're going to pick them up, aren't you? Bit of damage there, look, uh, he says, where are we? There we go, bit of damage there, you can see it. Yep. So the book is there, it is complete. So yeah, not bad at all. And then guys, the last one is a original Xbox game. And again, it's one I had already. But I picked it up because they wanted 20 pence for it. And I wasn't going to leave it there for 20 pence. Because again, it might be a label upgrade. I'll have to check. But I think it might be. And it is. I don't even know what you say to that. It's that number in roman numerals so you know what i mean it's the one that's like a comic book almost i do believe if i remember right is that what it is it's like that i think no i'm completely wrong guys completely wrong probably but yeah i think it's got that kind of uh look to it like you can see there guys look with boom and what have you yeah i haven't played it in donkey's years i can't even remember but yeah it's a very good game i remember that that it was good and I had fun playing it. Yeah, there we are. And it is complete with all its gubbins by the looks of it as well, guys. Yeah, it's got its gubbins with it as well, so that's brilliant. 
So yeah, to leave that when it was 20p guys would have been a tragedy. Especially when I think it could possibly be a label upgrade. So yeah, very, very pleased to get that one. There we are. So yeah, and that is all the games, guys. Not a lot there, was there? But one of the best things is to come. Here we go. Now you're going to see this, guys. Long old strap here. Do, do, do. Long old strap. And then this silver box attached to it. So yeah, you put that on your neck, obviously. And this is a carry case, of course. Now, some of you will recognise this because they were selling them all over the shop back in the day. Uh, do you know what's in there, guys? Do you know? He says, trying to get it the wrong, right way around. Let's have a look. But yeah, you open it like that. Yeah, right way around. Wicked. It is a Game Boy Advance SP. And it's the Tribal Edition in this case. So yeah, there we go. I'll just show you the inside of the box, guys. There we are. Nice little box. It just fits in perfect and it's nicely protected and it's going to be wicked for display as well so nice box and the box came with it obviously this is lovely to have that absolutely fantastic and this is in mint condition guys it really is this is in mint condition See, it's the tribal one there we are lovely lovely condition i can't get over it spin it round there we are yeah absolutely spot on condition guys and yes he says where are we there we go it is a fully working one i didn't put a game in it though so you won't see it booting up let's have a look uh where did i put them all oh here we go look look the yeah the video one yeah where will i get that so i'm going to stick it in let's have a look There we go. You see it's booting up there, guys. Wicked. Yeah, there we go. And there's your, uh, yeah, the menu, I presume, to choose one of the TV shows or whatever, is it? Oh, yeah, it's just the, yeah, the card there. So, yeah, wicked. It works like a treat, guys. So, yeah, very, very pleased with that. And I do think it looks an absolute doozy sitting in that case, guys. He says, putting it back in. Let's have a look. There we go. And it's going to look lovely on display like that, I think. It's going to look fantastic. i say these were all over the shop at the time. So, yeah, brilliant. That's how I know it is actually for a Game Boy Advance SP. Because I remember them around back in the day. Wicked, nice sturdy box that as well. If you're ever to drop it a bit like a photography box isn't it kind of thing or uh for musical instruments that kind of thing yeah wicked so yeah and that did come not with an original charger but i've got one kicking around anyway but it did have a third party one with it yeah it's a cheap cheap old one but at least it's got one with it and you could test it you know and uh Make sure it was all right over on the testing station, which is what I did. Uh, although I did turn it on at the stall, but I sneakily, when I bought it, snuck over there and uh, tested it as well to see whether it was taking a charge. So, yeah, it was absolutely fine. And I paid for that 20 quid. 20 quid, guys. Now, this sells for 45 to 50 unboxed in CX. So yeah, not bad. It's still, you know, quite a bit for a boot fare, 20 quid. But I was very, very pleased to pay that. And that's it, guys. That is my small little haul, guys, for the last boot fare. No PS4 for four quid this... Uh, PS4. PS2 for four <coughs> quid this time. I'll tell you why I said that, guys, with the PS4 uh, businesses. One of my friends, uh, Steve, he said, well, Andy will be off to the boot fair and he'll get himself, a, you know, a mint condition PS4 for four quid. No, not quite that look, Steve. But yeah, I mean, it was all right. It was quite good. Um, yeah, I, I didn't mind that at all. 20, 20 quid for that Game Boy Advance uh, SP Tribal. It was brilliant. Right, and with that, guys, that was my pickups. There we go. Now, I've got another announcement for you before we uh, end things. 
you know i'm running that thousand sub giveaway we're getting closer and closer every day guys i get at least another couple of people uh, that are there guys and i do apologize about these notifications coming up um yeah getting closer and closer every single day guys at least another two or three people so i'm getting closer and closer to that thousand subs guys which is going to be so wonderful when i finally reach it and of course i'm doing a giveaway heading towards it and once i reach a thousand subs guys i will pull the winner and what you got to do guys is basically go to another video linked below guys uh in my giveaway my latest giveaway video head over there make sure you're subscribed because that's one of the rules you have to be subscribed and only one comment per person but head over there comment on that video guys and then once i reach a thousand subs and pull the winner you could possibly win this brand new evercade guys from blaze that fantastic handheld that i love so much guys so yeah you could win that and it is a north american model although it's irrelevant because they are not region locked or anything you can still use all the european cartridges in it so yeah that is fantastic completely brand new and sealed evercade but not only do you get that you also get the interplay collection one yeah i mean already in there guys you get the atari collection which is you can just see it in the corner there but yeah i will also be giving you a brand new sealed interplay collection one as well so this is a nice prize guys lovely lovely prize of these two buggers here so that could be yours guys so all you got to do head below go to that giveaway video guys make sure you're subscribed only one comment per person and then and you can say what you like guys you can say hello whatever you like in the comments and then once i reach a thousand subs work permitting we shall pull it immediately me and josh with the random comment generator again guys picking the winner so yeah if anybody is entering it guys good luck guys good luck i'll keep my fingers crossed for all of you so yeah that could be yours so just head over there guys and get commenting and make sure you're subbed of course it's very very important we will check it guys uh whether you've come to more than once and that you are a subscriber there we are <sighs> what a uh, pickup guys only tiny but fantastic i'm really loving that i got that tribal guys brilliant 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 and with that i am literally going to wrap things up now and i'm going to say if you're not subbed already please drop me a sub give me a thummy thumbs up if you feel that way inclined and of course tap the bell icon and the all icon to get any future notifications and again guys do you love these retro classics guys because if you do you probably love emulation and i've got a fantastic group for you on facebook it's called the retro emulation fan group that me and nato i was talking about earlier set up a long time ago guys now it feels like a long time ago now we are now heading towards 400 members guys so there's plenty of people for you to have a banter with about anything to do with emulation we also have videos on there guys which is like system reviews tech help videos emulation performance videos or s videos guys tons of content for you to sink your teeth into and of course just brilliant to banter with like-minded emulation enthusiasts we also have a stellar admin team to answer any questions that you may have so if you love emulation you know what to do guys head below come over and join us and then guys i also have my uk crap gaming facebook group as well where we cover everything from retro to modern gaming so from pong machines to ps5s and everything in between again guys loads of videos there again because other youtubers put their videos up there every single day at least 10 go up if not more so there's a ton of content for you to watch over there as well so yeah if you just love gaming of any kind guys below and come and join us ask to join and i will accept you in no time and then guys i also have a patreon again a video there for you to watch explaining why i set it up in the first place just give that a watch guys and see if you want to join me on my patreon journey with that guys i'm going to love you and leave you and say i'll be the same choose and goodbye guys and i'll see you in the next one bye bye